every time, and it's just like fail. Oh. <laughs> What is this guy about to do? I'm trying to shoot shit. We need something to like brace it on the sides. Like, Someone's really? about to die. This is not gonna end like, well at this. all. I'll put like, I think five coins is about perfect. It's a shotgun crossbow. What's up? What's up, bro? Alright. Alright, that's as far as we go. Shit! It oh, fucked up. No, 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 stay over there, stay over there. I'm gonna reload. I'm gonna reload. <laughs> reload. I'm gonna reload. I'm no, reloading. I got you. I'm gone! <laughs> Every time, and it's just like fail. Good day guys, good day. Welcome to another episode of the Z-Log. I know I haven't updated this in quite a long time. Coming up on two weeks now, I'm sorry. Been very busy planning some really cool stuff. I'm actually going to come out with a video on that a little bit later. But right now I'm headed to the editing lab to get some stuff done for my editing class. Um, I'll show you guys some footage. I'm going to have some people meeting up with me later in the afternoon. It's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon right now. It's going to be a low-key day. Just editing, hanging out having a good time. The weather is so nice out right now. It's like 70 degrees. I have a sweatshirt on because it's going to get chilly later to the, towards the end of the night. It's very nice out right now. It's a little bit cloudy though. Something. Uh, no. Here at the Humphrey Lee Center. Before I go to the editing lab, I just want to get a cup of coffee because I need it really bad right now. I feel like I'm going to pass out. Now, before I actually edit what I need to edit in this room, I need to walk over to the editing lab in 108, and I need to copy some stuff with my, copy some footage over with my hard drive. All right, I got my hard drive. Thank God. Now, let's see. Oh, here we go. Right away. It comes up right here. Editing project. So this stuff is about 20 gigabytes in space. So it's going to take me, apparently it's saying six minutes. So in the meantime, I might as well talk to you guys about what this project is. Um, it's going to be pretty cool. Basically, I have about three and a half hours of footage to look through of a scene that my professor filmed for, I guess, one of the movies he's working on. And he wants us to construct the scene in a coherent way. He's not giving us any ground rules. He's not saying it should be happy, sad, you know, suspenseful, intense, angry vibe to it. He's just saying, make a story out of it. The whole class needs to work on this, and I'm working on my own project. I need to look through this footage and kind of see how I want this story to go, and then I'm going to decide how to construct the story from there on afterward. Because I like things very moody, so depending on what, what, I, what vibe I get from the footage of this, I may make this happy or sad. That's kind of what I want to go for. I want it, I want it to be have a serious tone, but I want it to be either genuinely happy or genuinely sad, depending on this footage. I saw a snippet in class, and it seemed like this is more of a sad scene, because it's about like the death of someone, I think. So. We're going to see what this footage is like, but I'm excited to make this. Uh, I'm just kind of going to document my experience as I work on this today because it's about 4 in the afternoon right now. It's about 3.45. I'm probably not going to finish it today because I'm going to want to get out of here at like 9 so I can edit the vlog for today. And then I'll come back here tomorrow night um, and finish it. So I'm really excited about it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys have done anything like this for school, if there are any film students who watch these videos because I kind of want to get back in the swing of the vlogs. And it's tough. I had this big conversation with my friend last night about you know, where I want to go with the direction of these vlogs and stuff. And there is really, like, no one more motivating than my buddy Eric. He doesn't comment too much, so if you look for his name, you won't find him down in the comments, I don't think. But 
he motivates me every day with this stuff. He's kind of like, this is what you want to do, so just like, get your ass in gear and do it. That's why I'm filming today, because I can't be like a slob and not edit it. With that said, let's get into what this actual project is about. Also, I forgot to mention just how sweet this editing lab is in the first place, because the other one is kind of like the main editing lab, and it's kind of where everyone goes to do their work. There's one guy in there right now, he's, like he's not in there, but his stuff is in there. But here, it's like a private suite, and you can see there's like the actual monitor, where you're on Avid Media Composer doing all the editing, and then you have like the preview screen here to just kind of like play back yourself, and it's just so cool. It's just so high tech. It's like you have your own private room, and look, it's we have like a sign to block out the light in here. I remember my buddy was just like, hey, why don't we hang that up so there's no issue in terms of light coming into the room or anyone knocking on the door and bothering us. It's great. It's like my own little lair. The footage is done. I'm going to get out of here. So before I start editing, I need like... I mean, I have been absolutely dying for this coffee, and I really need it. But I also gotta get working on this thing, because if I don't get this done, I mean, it's due Thursday, I still have time, but it's a lot of footage to look through. I finished editing this, it is... 11 or actually it's now midnight. It's 1201 in the morning. I started editing at 4 So I've been editing now for eight hours, and um, I'm very exhausted I am so happy this is done. It came out great. I'm actually gonna roll the footage now But yeah, I don't know if I'm allowed to upload this. Um, it is my professor's MFA thesis film So it is his work, but then again, I mean I edited it so there's some like joint collaboration going on there um, if you're watching this and you want me to take down, just let me know, I'll remove the end of the video. But I am gonna roll the clip for you guys. This was heavily focused on rhythm, pacing, flow, and then like character emotion. So if you guys felt any of that during this, like if it had a good rhythm, a good flow, or if you felt any emotion coming out of these characters, then let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this Z-Log. I hope you guys have a fantastic night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you guys, and goodbye. No, I'm available. There's a difference. I don't have anyone tying me down. No ball and chain on this ankle. That's right. You don't have anything tying you down. That's right, I don't. That's right, you're unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm funny. I'm cool. I love you, Charlie, but you are not cool. You're cute. Cute as a button. And modest. Like a fox. So what are you waiting for, dipshit? <coughs> Sophie, I'll handle the dishes, okay? No, it's okay, I got it. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to do it. I'm really excited you can... I started doing this one. Well, that's cool, but I have a system, so you can... Well, I better get back in there and drink. I do have a system. When do you have a system? Well, for one thing, it involves using the sponge. So... Okay. Can we talk? I told you, everything's okay. No, there's obviously something that you want to say to me. You know, actually I don't. Actually, there are about a million things I don't want to say to you. Charlie! <sighs> no. I can't believe you're actually gonna go through with it. I mean, do you realize that there isn't actually a Banana Republic in I Africa? I don't <laughs> shop at Banana Republic. Oh, honey, yes, you do. <laughs> it's almost as strange as uh, Charlie throwing a dinner party. That's not strange, it's sweet. I'm 25 and I have nothing to show for it but debt and the fact that I've been dumped in the same Starbucks twice. <laughs> you don't even like camping. How's the trip to the Amazon gonna get your life back on track? Mm. The Amazon's in South America? I know they look like the same continent, but... Maybe. Yeah, dipshit. Whatever. All I know is I'm losing money on this. You should stay. Like, you have to worry about money. Yeah, what exactly does a consultant do, anyway? Yeah. Oh, they don't do anything. They just get paid a lot. Oh, <laughs> Come no. on, Big Mouth, let's go. Me? I was joking. I'm a man on my own. Hold on a second, I'm actually gonna go. Dance with me. <laughs> Dance with me. Dance with me. Dance with me. I have to pee. Okay.
I'm Julia. I know. Julia, that's J U L I A. Julia. Thanks. For all I know, you could be a really poor speller. <laughs> well, my name's Charlie. Uh, I trust your spelling. I had a cat named Charlie once. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He was cute. You're cute. Um, thanks? I uh, like all the pictures of Jenny that you have put up. Are you a photographer or just a really girly decorator? Uh, I don't know. Six of one, half a dozen of the other? Sophie actually put those up. You should have put cats in them. Cats? Yeah. I'm a big fan of computer decoupage. You should have added cats with sunglasses, smoking cigarettes. Oh, well, smoking's bad for cats. Does that mean I can't smoke in your apartment? That's funny. I have a lighter just like that. That's a who? Shouldn't smoke. You're the one with the lighter. <laughs> I am actually going to need that back, though. Jenny gave it to me. Oh. So this party is for Jenny. Yeah. Sophie, stop. Juliet, would you mind going back in there and protecting Jenny from Sean? <laughs> well, then who's going to protect Charlie? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. I. Yeah, sure. Whatever. What the hell is that supposed to mean? That <laughs> didn't mean anything. She's screwy. Swear to God, if you told someone. Hey! I didn't. I'm going back. What? To Paris. I'm going back. Paris, France? Are you kidding me? Does, uh, Sean know? No. Hey, can you get your purse? I just need my cell phone and uh, Jenny's freaking out about making an international phone call and I just gotta teach her how to dial five extra digits.